Uh, organizational departments differentiate to meet needs of subdivisions. Now here we've got this president of the company and we have three departments, okay? Now if you look at the R&D department, what do they do? They do research and development and that's when you, they do scientific sub-environment. They have scientific journals, professional associations and research centers. Now the, uh, the company here, they have a manufacturing department and inside the manufacturing departments they have raw material, labor, suppliers and production equipment. And they also have the sales department, which includes customer distribution centers, advertising agencies, and competitors. Now, those three departments, which one is very organic? Uh, it's, it's, uh, it's, it's R&D. Yes. These people, they have to bang, come up with a new product. Okay. Which one is very mechanistic? The manufacturing. Maybe the manufacturing. These people, one plus one equals two. <coughs> you know, get the raw material. Uh, make the production and then, uh, you know, send it the labor to work on it. What about this department? Maybe in between. They have advertising, which is more organic, and they have distribution, which is more mechanistic. So the organic and uh, mechanistic, it's not a, conti it's not, a, you know, black and white. It's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a spectrum. You know, it starts black and it ends white and there's everything in between, do you see? So some departments, some companies more closer to, or to organic or some closer to mechanistics. Just like some students, some students are amazing organic. They put three people in a team project, they come up with completely amazing project, do you see? You put some people, uh, three people in a project, they do mechanistic, you know, the first part, the second part and the third part, and they couldn't mix it and come up with a new bank, do you see? Mechanistic and organic forms. Uh, you know, here we've got tax are specialized. Okay. Uh, employees, uh, let's see here. Uh, tasks are rigidly defined. Strict hierarchy, knowledge and control are very centralized and communication is very vertical. What is this description for? Mechanistic. Okay. On the other hand, what about these? Let's see. These, it says, communication is horizontal, organic. Knowledge and control of the tasks are located anywhere in the company, which means anyone in the company, they have their own role and power. Which one do you think has more centralization? Organic or mechanistic? Organic. See, in a mechanistic, you have to be centralized. The big boss needs to know everything because everything has to go like a clock. Do you see? Remember the orchestra? Everyone do their job very specific, okay? And they don't bang except for the sound that comes all together, do you see? But they don't come up with a new complete music. And uh, so it is more uh, centralized. But then, uh, so let's see, knowledge is anyway, but here knowledge is anyway, while here it is more centralized. Let me see, do I have here a marker or no? Let me see, highlighter. Okay, so here we've got this more centralized, here and more, more it is like decentralized, it's anywhere. Uh, if you look at here less uh, hierarchy of authority, uh, here do we have the big vertical uh, uh, hierarchy? No, no. no, it is less because people need to get together from different departments. While here it is more what? Strictly hierarchy, very more. Uh, tasks are adjusted and defined through the teamwork. Here they work in teams, but here no. Your task is very defined, cut chicken only. But here, you need to work with other people to come up with this new, let's say in Yemen software, this new software that will work on mobiles, on desktops, on tablets, on big tab, small tab. And then here, employee contribute to the common task of the departments, all employees contribute. But here, no, they're very specialized. Which one is more specialized, organic or, the, or the mechanistic? Mechanistic. Are you guys okay now with the differences between organic and mechanistic? Did that help you better? Yes? Okay, great. Now let's look at this again. Do you remember this stable, unstable, simple, and uh, complex from the previous session? Now here, remember what was the example here? Do you remember the example here? You know, we had here the manufacturing facility, right? Remember here we had the Pepsi? Yes or no? Do you guys remember or you don't? Remember, what was it here? Yeah, this was simple and, and here was what? Let's see, soft drink. Here soft drinks. And what did we have here? Here we had the university. Let's see. 
And uh, what about here? What did we have here? Uh, here we've got this, uh, you know, here we had the, like the uh, technology companies. Here we had like Yemen Soft. Uh, here we took the soft. And what did we have on this unstable and simple? The fashion? Okay. So these are the examples we had on the previous session. So let's see how this will work here on, uh, let's see how it will work. When it comes to soft, soft drinks here, they have mechanistic, do you see? Very mechanistic, very centralized. Do they have a lot of departments or few departments? Few departments. One department to buy the stuff, one department to make the sodas, one department to sell them. Do they have a lot of integration rules or just few integration rules? Few integration rules. We don't want to integrate a lot. You know, people who do buy, they buy. And they have nothing to do with the people who sell. The people who actually put the drinks inside the boxes, they have no idea what the people who get it out of the boxes. Do you see? Integration means everyone knows what everyone is doing and everyone is can help what everyone else is doing. Do you see? Uh, like the more teamwork, we have uh, more integration. Like here, see many integrating rules. We have a lot of teamwork. In Yemen Soft, you have to have all the departments agree. And then on the other hand, uh, we have current operations oriented, low speed response. Now here, if something bad happens, do all the people respond very quickly or people maybe don't know? Here, people don't know what happens in the other departments. You know, maybe they have big disaster in the other uh, department. Maybe they don't know. You know, in this department, we do one, two, and that's all what we do. Those people, they do nine and eight. We don't know what they do, and we don't really care. Uh, so this is what happens in a soft company. Now here in a university, uh, are we more of a mechanistic or organic? organic? See here, and it comes to the structure, we're a little bit mechanistic. What happens at the school of business, we don't care what happens in the pharmacy section. You see, from a university as a whole perspective. We have many departments and some boundary spanning. So maybe that department in pharmacy, we don't care about them. A few integrating rules. So maybe what you know, maybe we integrate. For example, uh, maybe we have one course uh, between pharmacy and business, which is statistics. Maybe we integrate on this class, and then the planning. You know, our plans in the school of business completely different than the school of pharmacy. Do you see? So we've got this. Uh, it's a low moderate uncertainty. Now, if you look at the fashion company. In a fashion company, we've got this organic structure. You have to be organic. Now, maybe here in a university inside the classroom, it's organic, but on a university level structure, it is more mechanistic. But if you look at a fashion company, everyone there needs to be organic. If someone come up with a new fashion design, other departments need to know to make it. And then what happens inside the store? They need to be ready for this new fashion. What happens if this color for 2006, do you guys know what's the color, fashionable color for 2016? What is this? You guys are not familiar. You're not keeping up with the latest fact. You see, imagine inside the fashion company, everyone needs to be aware. You guys are very mechanistic. Study only. You don't see what happens in the world. You're becoming too mechanistic. That's your homework for next class, okay? <laughs> All right. A uh, few departments, uh, we've got uh, more uh, boundary spanning, a few integration rules, and uh, uh, we've got this planning orientation, fast response. Are they fast to response? It has to be very fast, you know. If, what happens if the color changed? Do you see? They need to be able to respond, right? Uh, what happens if uh, people are no longer interested in this type of clothing or this type of, uh, you know, style? They need to respond in terms of everyone in the company. And then let's look at here for Yemen Soft uh, or a software company. They're very organic. They need to have very teamwork. Can you imagine if, if a company, Yemen Soft, they want to make uh, a software for the bank to work uh, internet banking or online banking? Uh, do they have to have a teamwork? The people who make the desktop, people make the back end, people who look at the database, people who look at the mobile application, people who look at the SMS. They all need to be on a team. And they need to all to participate. And it needs to be decentralized. The guy on the mobile app will have completely different things than the person who work on the you know desktop version in terms of you know what they need to do. 
They have many departments and they are differentiated by extensive uh, boundary spanning. Do you guys know what's boundary spanning? It means I have to tell everyone else what I'm doing. And then we've got this integration rules are a lot and we've got this extensive planning uh, and forecasting and very high response. Are you guys okay with this? Any questions on this slide? You guys are amazing. <laughs>